February of 2019, the Phillies make a blockbuster trade with the Miami Marlins for JT Real Muto. The headliner for this trade being sent to Miami was pitcher Sixto Sanchez, a prospect that the Phillies were comfortable moving because Sanchez was still in double A. What this meant for the Marlins is for them to win the Real Muto trade that they need to go ahead and develop Sanchez. Well, Sanchez made his debut in the 2020 Mickey Mouse season, and he pitched in seven games, posting a 3.46 ERA in 39 innings. Seven of those innings were actually against the team that traded him, the Philadelphia Phillies. And in those seven innings, he only gave up three hits and was dominant. The Phillies ended up missing out on the playoffs back in 2020, while Sixto Sanchez was busy helping the Marlins win in the playoffs. They won their first playoff series since 2003 with a big thanks to Sixto Sanchez. In only one season of the big leagues, this guy was the real deal. And by the end of the year, he was still considered a prospect, but not just any prospect. He made his way in the rankings all the way to the number one pitching prospect in all of baseball. This was a young kid able to mix his pitches very, very well. Having that identity of a strikeout pitch with the changeup, to being able to throw hard with the fastball. He had about everything going his way that you could possibly imagine. A fan favorite across not only the Marlins, but across baseball, a young arm that was taking the league by storm. But if there's one thing that we've known about the last few years of this new era of baseball, there's been a common trend for injuries and specifically arms, because it feels like that right now we are seeing so many arms ruined by injury. And a big reason is that pitchers are right now taught to throw velocity over location. And it's been a very big negative for the game of baseball. And every pitcher, when you focus your velocity over your break, it leads to young pitchers trending towards injury young in their career. And ultimately, Sixto Sanchez was a guy who threw very, very hard. He had a consistent 98 mile an hour fastball and everything he threw was filthy, but his body simply couldn't handle it. And since January, 2021, we have seen Sixto Sanchez go through two shoulder injuries and pitch zero innings in 2021 and 2022. From the best pitching prospect in baseball to falling off the face of the earth. 2023 hasn't been much better for him, but he did finally return to pitching a few days ago. They're trying to take it slow with him and readjust him into pitching, and he likely won't be the same pitcher that he ever once was at all. And that's not to say that he won't be good, but I don't believe that he will be a hard thrower ever again. And in his first start, it was down in double A. His fastball was around 85 miles an hour, which is 13 miles an hour lower than the last time we saw this guy pitch. Now, in that start, he struck out two batters and allowed one single and one walk. Keep in mind, it was only one inning, but right now, the Marlins have to have an objective, and that objective has to be keeping Sixto Sanchez healthy and rehabbing his arm. I expect him to go into the offseason and work on several different things if he wants to be successful again. Number one, he doesn't look to be in the best shape, so I really hope that that's addressed. Number two, keeping his body healthy. That would be the best case scenario, at least for him and at least for the team. He would then have a shot at potentially joining the Marlins bullpen, but as it stands, Sixto Sanchez has been a player ruined by injury. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.